Hello everyone. Today we will discuss Python libraries in data science. Python has become a popular programming language for data science due to its versatility and the rich ecosystem of libraries it offers. Python holds a unique position in the data science landscape and it's largely due to its dynamic libraries. These libraries, impressive in their versatility and power, are the foundation various data science tasks. Next, from data analysis, visualizations, to machine learning, Python's libraries streamline these processes, simplifying the work for data enthusiasts. Python, a leading language in data science, is celebrated for its powerful libraries and frameworks that make the life of data scientists considerably easier. First on our list of must-haves is TensorFlow. This comprehensive open source library has emerged as a top choice among data scientists and software developers alike. Its popularity is primarily due to its usefulness in the execution of complex machine learning and deep learning tasks. TensorFlow is recognized for its incredibly flexible ecosystem. This ecosystem supports and facilitates the ideation, creation, testing, and deployment of machine learning models, providing a fluid end-to-end -end solution for AI development. It's known for its flexible ecosystem that allows for experimentation and deployment of ML models. Let's see. An example. First, install TensorFlow. By simply type pip install TensorFlow into terminal, then import and use. Next, we have NumPy, an essential library for numerical computations. This powerful open source tool comes packed with features that allow for high-level mathematical functions, opening doors for various scientific computing tasks. Its ability to handle large quantities of data allows developers to execute advanced mathematical operations swiftly. One of its key strengths lies in its robust handling of multi-dimensional arrays and matrices. The versatility and efficiency of NumPy make it the preferred choice for many programmers, aiding in complex computations. It's widely acknowledged as the foundational building block, a keystone that supports a myriad of other Python libraries, making it a backbone for many other Python libraries. The third library is Pandas, the unrivaled solution for complexities involved in data manipulation and analysis. When working with data, especially large data sets, it becomes challenging to manage and utilize the information effectively. This is where the prowess of Pandas comes in. Born out of necessity, Pandas is tailored to tackle the problems in data science with regard to data manipulation. It ingeniously offers data structures for efficient storage of massive data sets, hence proving to be a valuable tool for data scientists. It's also equipped with robust tools for data wrangling, the process of cleaning and unifying messy and complex data sets for easy access and analysis. In essence, it's the one-stop shop for every data scientist or anyone working with data. It provides data structures for efficiently storing large data sets and tools for data wrangling and analysis. Matplotlib comes in fourth. This is a tool that data scientists often turn to when they need to construct visual representations of their data. Its creation was brought about in response to the need for a more versatile and powerful data visualization tool within the Python programming environment. As a plotting library, it provides a broad range of functionalities that make it possible to create not only static visualizations, but also animated and interactive ones. For those familiar with Python, incorporating matplotlib into their data analysis projects becomes relatively seamless, given its smooth integration with Python's environment. It has a well-designed structure that makes the visualization process direct and intuitive. With matplotlib, the creation of a wide variety of visualizations, from simple scatter plots to complex 3D graphics, becomes possible. Therefore, this library is perfect for both beginners and experienced data analysts. Overall, matplotlib is a plotting library that creates static, animated, and interactive visualizations in Python. Let's see ample and plot output of numpy, pandas, and matplotlib in one example. First, install all libraries using pip install numpy, pip install pandas, and pip install matplotlib into Python terminal. SciPy, our fifth library, is a powerful tool that's extensively employed for scientific and technical computing. It's an integral part of the data science ecosystem and aids in the solutions of complex scientific computations. SciPy is an open source Python library that acts as a linchpin for scientists and engineers who work on data driven projects. This library transcends the capabilities of NumPy, an already robust tool, by providing many more features. 
It presents additional modules for advanced computational tasks. Some of these tasks include integration, an invaluable tool for mathematicians. There's interpolation, which plays a pivotal role in data analysis. Then there's image processing, a critical component for those in the graphic industry. In essence, SciPy is an indispensable tool, offering a comprehensive suite for scientific computing. It builds on NumPy, providing additional modules for tasks like integration, interpolation, and image processing. Keras, the sixth library, is our topic of discussion for today. This is no ordinary library. It is a user-friendly neural network library and open-source neural network library written in Python. Its primary author and maintainer is Francois Cholet, a Google engineer. Keras was conceived to facilitate quick and easy experimentation with deep neural networks. It is an incredible tool that deciphers the complex world of deep learning. It is designed with expressiveness, flexibility, and modularity in mind. Its functionalities provide a high-level, more intuitive set of abstractions that make it simpler to develop and produce deep learning models. Its focus is user-friendliness, easy model building, and quick prototyping. It allows the user to design and train neural network models in just a few lines of code. What really sets it apart is that it simplifies the creation of deep learning models. Seventh on our list is Scikit-Learn, a versatile library for machine learning. Designed in the Python programming language, it's open source, free to use, and widely recognized in the world of machine learning. It offers an array of functionality and features that are necessary for implementing machine learning models. From simple linear regression to complex neural networks, Scikit-Learn has it all. You can perform predictive data analysis, examine patterns, and make predictions. The library's easy-to-understand functions and detailed documentation make it a favorite among beginners and professionals alike. It provides a range of supervised and unsupervised learning algorithms. PyTorch, another open-source machine learning library, occupies the eighth spot on our list. An innovative platform for artificial intelligence enthusiasts, PyTorch stands out in the competitive world of machine learning. It's reputed for its seamless functionality and user-friendly interface. Users appreciate its core capabilities, which include tensor computations, a feature that deals with complex mathematical operations and provides strong GPU acceleration, an essential element for handling large datasets. Furthermore, it boasts of its deep neural networks that are built on a tape-based autograd system, a unique functionality that sets it apart. Our ninth library is Scrapey, a powerful tool for web scraping. It helps in extracting the data you need from websites. Coming in at 10 is Beautiful Soup, another library for web scraping that makes it easy to parse HTML and XML documents. 11th is LightGBM, a gradient boosting framework that uses tree-based learning algorithms. It's designed to be distributed and efficient with the advantage of speed and accuracy. The 12th library, Eli5, is a package for inspecting machine learning models and explaining their predictions. Theano, standing at 13, is a Python library that allows you to define, optimize, and evaluate mathematical expressions involving multidimensional arrays efficiently. Our 14th library is NuPic, the Numenta platform for intelligent computing, which implements hierarchical temporal memory, a theory of the neocortex. Ramp at 15 is a lightweight prototyping tool to test and iterate machine learning models. 16th is Pippinf, a production-ready tool that aims to bring the best of all packaging worlds to the Python world. At 17, we have Bob, a free signal processing and machine learning toolbox. The 18th library is PyBrain, a modular machine learning library for Python. Its goal is to offer flexible, easy to use, yet still powerful algorithms for machine learning tasks. The 19th library, Dask, is a flexible parallel computing library for analytic computing, designed to scale from a single computer to a cluster of servers. Rounding off our list at 20 is Seaborn, a statistical data visualization library based on Matplotlib. It provides a high-level interface for drawing attractive and informative statistical graphics. In summary, these 20 Python libraries are indispensable tools for data scientists. They offer functionalities for a wide range of tasks, from data manipulation and analysis, machine learning and deep learning, to web scraping and data visualization. These libraries not only simplify the process of coding, but also enhance the capabilities of Python as a data science tool. 
So whether you are a seasoned data scientist or a beginner, these libraries are sure to elevate your data science journey.